It's interesting that Jesus never condemned short prayers. But you have statement, more than one statement in the Bible where Jesus actually condemned for a pretense. He told the Pharisees, you make long prayers. So we have on document that he condemned pretentious long prayers. You know, some friends, you ask them to say grace is the end. <laughs> Your foot becomes cold. You know, friends like that, they, 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 we call it, they pray Marco Polo prayers, you know, they travel around the, the world, you know, they pray for everyone in Timbuktu, they pray for people in uh, Doremi Island, they pray for everybody all over the world, and finally thank God for the food. By then, your face is in the soup. And they think, they think they are being impressive. They think that you are impressed by their spirituality. Many a times, the long prayers are done on your own. Then when you stand in public, your prayers are very short. <laughs> I can see disappointment in people sometimes when they meet me in the mall somewhere. Apostle Prince, can you pray for me? I'll just touch my, their shoulder or whatever, whichever is decent, a lady or a guy, you know, and then, you know, I, 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 because I believe in the laying on of hands, all right, it must be appropriate. And now I pray a prayer, Father, in Jesus' name, heal this person right now of this disease. We smite this disease to its roots. In Jesus' name, it's done. Amen. After that, they're still down there. <laughs> then I feel like... <laughs> you know, they're disappointed. They look up there and they're... Uh, they, it, it almost, they don't say it, but in their thoughts, that's all? <laughs> Is that all? Is that all? One of the greatest prayers Jesus prayed was at the tomb of Lazarus. And he looked up before, before Lazarus was raised, he looked up and said, Father! Start counting. One, two, okay? Now, Father, I thank you that you have heard me and that you hear me always. How long? A few seconds. Then he looked into the tomb. Lazarus! Come forth! By the way, that is English. In Hebrew, Aramaic, is even shorter. Kumi! One word. Okay? All the prayers of Jesus are short. In fact, the shorter we pray, the bigger we make him. We are saying, it's all you, Lord. People say things, you gotta pray, oh, this situation, you gotta pray hard. Ooh. You gotta pray hard. I'm sorry, man. Wow, I tell you this one. This time I must pray hard. Hey, you better pray hard now. Let me tell you this. You pray hard, you pray soft, it is not you. Okay? It is the one you are praying to. Now, it's, it's amazing. We, we think that, you know, we'll be heard because we are loud. We are demonstrative. It's not you. It's the one you are praying to. It's, it's not you. Some of the most powerful prayers that I know of in my life that have healed people of of diseases like cancer and all that, I pray soft. I'm not saying soft or, 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 or soft is the thing. No, it's not. I'm just telling you, he's the one. Yes. The one who loves us and gave his life for us. Amen. The father who sent his son, he is the one that answers our prayers. Amen. So I understand the expression when you say pray hard. I understand. But I wonder whether you understand that it's not your prayer, it is him. Amen? Amen. Pray hard. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> like they want to give birth, eh? <laughs> now, there is a place, I understand, spiritual warfare. I'm not talking about spiritual warfare here. I'm talking about simply asking God, which for the most part is our prayer. Okay? Amen? So the Bible says, Jesus said in uh, Matthew 6, therefore do not be like them. We saw this just now. Look at the context of this. Verses before this, and when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, Jesus says, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret, how will He reward you, church? He will reward you how? Also in secret? Say it. Shout it. Openly. 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 And when you pray, watch this. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. 
Don't use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they'll be hurt for their many words. Our Marco Polo friend who prays, he might be a bit sincere also. He thinks that the longer he pray, now God is obliged. See, I twist your arm already, God, so long with you. Now you have to answer. You know, people have this idea that there are many words finally will compel God. No, let me tell you this. God was compelled to give, to give us the greatest gift long before anybody ever asked him to send his son. Okay? And that was the greatest gift. That was the greatest gift, greatest blessing. So you think for one moment that God needs to be coaxed? You need to persuade God? Huh? You think that God... God is a God that stands down there and say, come on, louder, louder, pray harder, come on, come on. Yes, my heart, I can feel a bit my heart becoming softer already. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, that's your school principle. It's not God. <laughs> that could be your grandfather. It's not God. Could be your mother-in-law, but it's not God. Are you listening or not? Now, don't project into God. God gave His Son when the world didn't even care that they were lost. Nobody supplicated to God to send His Son. Are you listening, people? It's an amazing God. Okay? Now, it says here, and when you pray, do not use vain repetitions. For they think that they'll be hurt for their many words. Next verse, therefore do not be like them. Your Father knows. So make your prayer simple. Make it homely. All right? Drop all this, uh, for I come up to thee uh, in this moment of... Uh, to call upon thee because of thy sovereign grace that is able to turn around all my vicissitudes of life into, into triumphs of your tr mercies, which endure forever. <laughs> no, you come to God and say, Father, I need your help here. I do not know what's wrong with my child, but I know, step back, know his heart. I know you love my boy more than I love my boy. I'm going to lay my hands on him. I'm asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, heal him. 